Hi there, I'm William Mack, coming from our Cake Lab in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We use electricity every day, but have you ever asked, what is electricity? In its most basic form, electricity is the movement of electric charge. On a large scale, this looks like a lightning strike. On a much smaller scale, it lets you send memes and GIFs to your friends, you know, instead of actually talking to them. In a circuit diagram, we show an electric current flowing from the positive side of a battery, or a power supply, to the negative side. And it's been that way since Benjamin Franklin attached a key to a kite string and flew it into some really bad weather. Fun fact, this is actually kind of backwards and is known as conventional current theory. With a few exceptions, electric current is made up of electrons, which are negatively charged and flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. So why has the positive convention stuck around? It makes the math easier and we all like easy math, but how does it all work? An easy way to visualize electricity is to view a battery as a water tank and a wire as a pipe attached to the tank. If the water tank is full, then we have water pressure. When we let water out of the tank, it runs through the pipe and spills onto the ground. Of course, this also drains the tank until no more water is coming out of the pipes. When a battery is charged, we have a voltage, which is like the water pressure. When we connect the circuit, the electric charge runs through the circuit from the higher voltage to the lower voltage, just like the water runs from the tank to the ground. This movement of charge is electrical current. As current moves through the circuit, we can use it to power lights, motors, processors, and other gadgets. As the current flows, it lowers the battery voltage. And just like the water flowing from the tank will slow to a trickle, the amount of electrical current flowing through the circuit is reduced as the battery voltage drops. Eventually, your battery dies and the fun ends. So when you hear us talk about things like low ESR or low DCR, remember that those are just a couple of things that we do to make your battery last longer. Or for devices like TVs that are always plugged in, instead of running off a battery, it makes them more efficient and saving power saves you money and makes penguins happy. If you want to learn more, visit our newly redesigned Engineering Center website and search the keyword Circuit Basics. You can also join our conversation by following us on our social media platforms. Coming to you from our Cake Lab in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I'm William Mack and remember to stay curious.